Hello everyone, I am Mimit Alkush. In this video, we will solve one problem in chapter 22. The charge on the ring, shown in the figure, is distributed non-uniformly, given by line charge density lambda s, c times cosine theta, where c is a positive constant. Determine the electric field vector at the origin. Because cosine theta is the x-axis and sine theta is the y-axis, according to the formula lambda equals c times cosine theta, the right side of the ring becomes positively charged. By the same way, the left side of the ring becomes a negatively charged. Now, let's take a differential charge dq in the differential arc length ds at an angle theta, the electric field due to this differential charge at the origin becomes by the same way if we take another dq symmetric to this charge then the electric field due to this charge is drawn like this as you see their y components cancel each other so we are left with their x component dE times cosine theta Similarly, if we take a differential charge dq on the negative side, the electric field at the origin due to this charge is obtained as dE times cosine theta. As a result, total net electric field is obtained as 2 times integral of dE times cosine theta. dE is calculated by k times dq over r squared. Since dq is lambda times ds, where ds is the infinitesimal arc length, which is calculated by the formula r times d theta, we obtain dq as lambda times r times d theta. Now, we put this value into the integral. Here, 1 r's are cancelled. Since lambda is c times cosine theta, here, k, c, and r are constant, so they can be taken outside the integral sign. So, we obtain 2 times k times c over r, integral of cosine theta squared d theta. The limits of the integral are negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. The integral of cosine theta squared can be taken from the integral table as theta over 2 plus 1 fourth sine 2 theta. We know that sine pi and sine negative pi are zero. So we are left with k times c over r times pi over 2 minus negative pi over 2, which is total pi. So the magnitude of the electric field is obtained as k times c times pi over r. As you see, the direction of the electric field is negative i hat, that is negative x direction. Okay, we are done. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.